Strike our fans. This match is brought to you by Club Tales. Three rounds, three minutes apiece, and it is for your Strike Hard Heavyweight Championship! Look with me to the blue corner. He steps in with a record of six wins and one loss. His height is six foot three inches and his weight 265 pounds. He trains with Ultimate MMA out of Albertville, Alabama. His name is Jose Big Brown Evans! And looking across the corner, his record is three wins, one loss. His height, six foot two inches. His weight, 265 pounds. He trains with Crack and Fight Team out of Peebles, Ohio. His name is Dylan Rick. Michael Bell will be your referee for this fight. Chris, we have been talking about this fight all week. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at these two guys. How can you not? And uh, Jose, Jose Evans has not broke eye contact with uh, Dylan uh, Rick. Jose Perez wearing the white trunks, Dylan Rank in the black, and we are uh, ready to start round one. Let's fucking go, Jose! Quick exchanges by Jose Evans closing the distance. Lots of body work. Jose Evans is wasting no time in this fight. You know, one thing seems like you should do. If your opponent is coming at you this strong, it might be a good idea just to relax for a little bit, try and let the opponent wear himself out a little bit. Let him get rid of some of that nervous energy. You can't fight him at his game. He's too strong. Well, you know, Chris, as you've pointed out in the past, you can only throw so many fastballs. And if you go into a fight looking for a knockout, you can't expect to win a decision. So I, I think your strategy is correct. Very dangerous spot for heavyweight. A lot of lighter weights, it's hard to knock somebody out from that position. But you catch a guy with one good shot on the side of the head, knocking him out from that position happens. S strong takedown from Jose Evans, and he plans on keeping uh, Dylan uh, Rink on the ground. Peppering him with punches. Peppering Rink with punches is Jose Evans. Terrible so this, position right now for Dylan Rink. It has, and this fight really hasn't settled in yet. The, these, these two are still gunning for position. Rink isn't willing to acquiesce just as of yet. He's doing a good job around keeping hand control, but he lost it. Jose Evans has just swarmed Dylan Rink from the opening bell. He is a monstrous individual. Absolutely, and that's what I said. If you're Dylan Rink, it might be not a bad idea right now just to try and stay defensive, try and to mitigate the damage you're taking and see if Jose Evans can keep this pace up for very long. Yeah, 265 pounds, very rarely can you see people like, continue a pace like this for all three rounds. And, and Rink, you know, to his credit, he's weathering the storm. Well, he's not taking much damage like we're talking about earlier. He's, he's blocking a lot of these punches. He's grabbing wrists. He's doing whatever he can to, to not take clean shots. Jose Evans just looking for an opening to throw a punch. Very careful not to punch in the back of the head, though. Yeah, but he's, I mean, it's just he's doing a good job of staying right behind him, not overcommitting on anything, not putting himself in a position where he's going to end up on bottom. He's staying in dominant position the entire time. Great move right there by Dylan Rink. Yeah, and, and you know that's because Evans didn't sink his hooks in. You know, Dylan Rink took advantage of that, changed his angle on the ground, and yeah. attempted a, a single leg. And the bad thing is he did everything right, and he's still on bottom right now. <laughs> So, Chris, uh, Dylan Rink, would, would you suggest maybe he pull guard a little bit and do a closed guard, or what would you say Absolutely he would do? not. Okay. I think he's doing the smart thing right now okay. and just trying to mitigate the damage it's going to take because I don't think you'd like to take, you know, Jose Evans take, raining down punches on you from your guard. Okay. That, that's just one person who could really do some damage from that. And, you know, we just ended round one. Obviously a dominant performance by Jose Evans. However, Dylan Rink is still here. Yeah, uh, and, and once again, I think that's kind of a game plan right there. I mean, they're showing the good take there right now. He just kind of threw Dylan down fairly easy. But I think the game plan right now has to be, let's see how 
Jose Evans can do down the stretch. Is he going to be able to do this for very long? He has so much muscle that requires a lot of oxygen. And if you use up that muscle and use up all that oxygen, you're going to be tired. I think, I think Dylan's best chance is to draw him in the deep waters and drown him. Chris, how often do you see both fighters refuse the stool in between rounds? Uh, it's very rare. Yeah. Yeah, very rare. Both corners very calm. Both corners very calm. Well, you got good corners right here, so you can yeah. tell they both know what they're doing. They got a lot of experience. Reminds me back a long time ago when George Foreman made his comeback. He never took a seat at the stool. No, he always no. stood on his feet, and I always remember that was when I was younger. I was like, who is this guy? Yeah. I didn't have the whole background. Then I started looking. He, oh, my gosh, this guy was so good back in the day. Just doesn't make kitchen appliances. The man can fight. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the grill guy? Yeah, yeah that's the same guy. Man. Eight kids with the same name? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jose it's Evans. A it's a girl. Rink. Well, her middle name will be George. Beginning round two, and Dylan Rink has looked to find his range in that opening exchange, yet he finds himself on bottom again, Chris. Looked like he slipped there. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I mean, and Big Brown right there. What can Brown do for you? <laughs> I Jose mean, see, Evans. Okay, now here's what we're talking about. Here's what we've said. He's on his back right now with the big Jose Evans on top of him. It doesn't look like a good place. Yeah, that, that's, I mean, these are two big individuals, but you know, Dil, uh, Dylan Rink has been carrying all 265 pounds this entire bout. Now, I'd like to see if, if, if Jose's gonna try to go for a submission or just take the back right now. See, good move right there, taking the back, wearing your opponent out, wait till the right time when you know he's not gonna be able to defend that choke. Dylan Rink still not giving Jose Evans like a good angle in order to land that solid punch that you know he's capable of. His defense has been pretty darn good so far. Now, we're getting to the point, I know I said earlier, just kind of weather the storm in the first round. You really can't really do that too much anymore because it doesn't look like Jose Evans is going to gas out anytime soon. So no. You're going to have to do something if you want to win this fight. Yeah, which is very rare for somebody, like an individual of that, that size. You know, generally they got you know, big size little gas tanks. Yeah. And uh, Jose Evans seems to be the exception to that role. Reminds me of Cain Velasquez. That guy could go all day, all night. I think he just had to be like a genetic freak because most people aren't like that. Yeah, with the wrestling pedigree of Jose Evans, anything on the ground in terms of positioning is going to be incredibly and difficult. Look at that great one. He's, he's pulling up on his right foot. That makes it where Dylan cannot get out. He stepped over right there, wasn't able to lock it up and hook it up, and that makes it even more difficult to get out. Yeah, very high uh, ring, in-ring IQ by Jose Jose Evans. I mean, he's being heavy on his opponent. He's holding him down, landing some shots. Not not devastating shots, but he's still landing enough to, to be winning the fight. Dylan Rink is still in this fight, though. You know, and that, that's something that Jose Evans isn't accustomed to. I couldn't agree more. I'm yeah. sure he's like, why is this guy not falling down? Why is he? Why can I not hit him clean? You know, he had a real good opening exchange, and um, is, is carrying every ounce of that 265 pound frame of Jose Evans. And right there, some of the hardest punches Evans has been able to land throughout this fight. Dylan Ring changing position going for a single leg takedown. It's got to be frustrating right now for Dylan Ring. Every time he thinks he gets in the good spot, Jose Evans just slams his body down. And we have concluded round two. Chris, those might be two 10-8 rounds that we have witnessed. Even though the, I mean, it was in terms of positioning and, and overall output, Dylan Rink hasn't really done hasn't really done anything on offense up until this point. It's not that he's taking and absorbing a lot of punishment, but his out, offensive output just hasn't, hasn't existed. Yeah, and I've been really impressed right now. Here's some replays right now. This has been the tail of the fight right here. Jose Elvis getting behind, landing big punches, controlling, dominating position. Hey, I, I think the real question is, can Jose Evans, you know, finish this fight? It's, it's been very difficult up until this point to land anything solid. Yeah, one, just that once again is just a credit to Dylan uh, being able to be very well defensive-minded and, and, and keeping anything major from hitting him and hurting him. Absolutely. Yeah, once again, going into the third round, both fighters refuse their stool. 
I, I'm thinking maybe now they feel like if they sat down, they wouldn't be able to get up. <laughs> right to just a thought. Just a thought. <laughs> and with that, we begin round three. Now, if I'm Dylan Rinks, people, I'm saying we got to try and keep this on our feet as long as possible. Oh, this You're going to lose if it goes to the ground. You have to try and end this on your feet. This opening exchange is going to be very telling of Dylan Rink. <laughs> and Dylan Rink finds himself pressed against the cage again. Oh, grab the fence right and there. The he got by with that. one. Ken Ozzie Evans finished his takedown. Good takedown reference. Yeah, right very good. good right. display. Two, this is a very technical fight with two very large individuals. Jose Evans just gave up on a takedown. He's smiling right now. I, I, I think this is water that Jose Evans generally doesn't swim in. <laughs> I would agree with that. You, know, you learn a lot about yourself the longer a fight goes, especially when you start to get tired. And, and, and the fight starts wearing on you. You know, Jose Evans is learning a lot about himself right now. And Dylan Rank, this is his opportunity right now. He's stopping some takedowns. He has to figure out what he can do to create well, some space right now to land some punches. Uh, we, we're down to about a minute 40 left in this fight. And Dylan Rank right now, he, he should, you know, put a little pressure. You know, he should uh, be a little desperate right now in terms uh, of I mean, creating some offense. I, I, it's going to be very difficult for him to be pressure. I mean, look at the pressure being applied right now by Jose Evans. I mean, he's going to have to try and create some space to land a punch, move his hips out of the way. He can't lay here flat back against the fence and expect to be able to win the fight. And since the beginning of this fight, we've seen pressure, pressure, pressure by Jose Evans. You know what pressure makes, Mike? Diamonds, there, baby. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, we are we are down under a minute left in this fight right now. You know, and a lot of people they, they don't don't understand how tiring it is when you're fighting, pushing a guy against the cage and trying to get off the cage. That's like an isometric, just a, a flexing of the muscle for a minute straight. So tiring. Heavy breathing by Jose Evans. Like I said, he's he's keeping his person, he's keeping his opponent right in front of him, keeping him against the fence, dominating position wise. May not be the most entertaining, but it, it, you're definitely imposing your will. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know, for nine minutes, Jose Evans has not stopped on offense, and that is very rare to see uh, yeah. out of a heavyweight. Ten seconds left in this bout, this title bout. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and very strong finish, just like the start of this fight by yeah. Jose Evans. You know, a lot of people might not like the, they, not quite the most entertaining fight. I was very entertained with it. It showed a lot right there. But to me, the most impressive thing about that fight was how Jose Evans was able to continue to push the pace the entire time. He didn't really gas out at all in my opinion. No, no. I mean, he was breathing heavy a little bit, but he paced himself. Yeah. Paced himself at, at a very high high pace with, you know, a very large individual against you. You know, Dylan Rank. I mean, obviously there's going to be some room to grow, some room to improve, and ways to dominate position when you're in a dominant spot, how to continue to get into a better spot. But uh, very impressed by his ability to continue to go hard the entire time. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are going to make this one official. We are waiting for our ring announcer. I, I can't imagine there being much uh, difficulty figuring out the judges' scorecards. Lance Green is entering the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three grueling rounds, the judges have ruled this by unanimous for your new heavyweight champion, Jose Evans! 
Now we're gonna go to our in-ring interview with Jeremy Pasley. Congratulations to the champ, Jose Evans. Jose, come here, join me real quick. Man, heavyweights, the weight class of knockouts and the weight class of just throwing it down. Yet for the first time in your MMA career, you went the distance. How does it feel and how bad does it suck? It, uh, this is my second fight I went to distance. First one was against Frank Tate. But uh, yeah, it sucks in the third round, but it was fun. He said I wouldn't make it to the third round, so that's what's awesome. How does, it, how does it feel now to be the strike hard champion and have that belt there over your shoulder? It feels great, especially because, you know, David Eller, you know, he's helped me a lot. He's been sticking with me since my car wreck. He helped me, but it feels awesome to be uh, part of the strike hard. Give it up one last time for your new heavyweight.